Hey everybody, we wanted to show y'all a quick video of some of the common ways to use the thigh cuff uh, for some different training mode exercises that can be used in the clinic. Um, so we got Brian here, our, our great patient. Uh, we are going to start in supine position and then we'll show you some uh, treatment ideas in different positioning. Um, with this, because of possibly using the lower cuff and motion detection later on, we have the lower cuff paired and this is not a thigh standalone cuff. Um, so we will do on the lower cuff, we're going to exclude stimulator from training. And then we can isolate just the thigh cuff for training mode. Um, so the first one we can do is isometric quad sets. So here we go. So we got this on an eight second timer. Brian is actively contracting the quad as the stimulation turns on. We'll go through one more cycle of this. And next what we will do is a straight leg raise. So next time he feels the stimulation. And with this as a reminder, the training time can be set all the way to 20 seconds for on if you want the patient to pump out more reps in a shorter period of time. And next we'll go to short arc quad. It's the same idea. Every time he's feeling the stimulation, he's going to that quadriceps contraction there. And then we are going to pause this and we will flip this around to hamstring. And then some of the similar ideas, we're gonna to go to hamstring sets next. With this, ideally, you'd have the patient set up first, seeing what their intensity that they need in the hamstring before you flip it around. So you can memorize that number and then you go back to training mode. We're gonna activate it and here's hamstring sets. Could be, depending on what angle of knee flexion you need, digging that heel into the table there. Go one more. And if you want to go to more of an isotonic, we go heel slides next. So every time feeling the stimulation, often with patients, you may need to lower the, the intensity a little bit just to allow that full range of motion there. Uh, next one in this position would be bridging. You can obviously do this in all the positions y'all are used to. Two leg, one leg, BOSU ball under the foot, whatever works for y'all. Um, and next we will move to sitting position. So now we're in sitting position. We're gonna do a long arc quad first. If the patient's ready for a little more, we can go to manual resistance. So next time it kicks on, push into my hand. Up, 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 up. So isometrics, hold it there, then eccentrics, push right back. Now starting from more of an extended position, now we'll do the knee flexion here against manual resistance. You can do an isometric hold at the end, hold, 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 slowly release. And patient assistance controlling that eccentric phase. An idea for closed chain hamstring in sitting position on this rolling stool. Every time the stimulation comes on, that closed kinetic chain hamstring contraction. And opposite is closed kinetic chain knee extension on the stool. Looking for some ideas in prone. We got prone hip extension with the stimulator on the hamstring. And we can go knee flexion in prone. Then we transition to quadruped position. Getting that hip extension with a knee flex position. Then 
getting that knee flexion actively from a hip extended position. Another way to activate quadriceps in the closed chain position is from the kneeling position. It's going from closed chain knee flexion to closed chain knee extension. Next we'll simulate like a stance phase. <laughs> Some hip pain. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna work on some quadriceps in standing. So we can do weight shifting. This can be done in and or out of the parallel bars where we're doing lateral stance, weight shifting. We're looking at terminal knee extension. So our patients tend to be a little bit flexed. We wanna to get to that terminal knee extension in the stance and then be able to take that step forward. We can progress towards step ups, stairs in and out of the parallel bars, isometrics, eccentrics. We can work on step overs if we wanted to. So we step up and over. And as we work on stepping down, we can work more eccentrics. down, 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 hold that quad, and then stop. All right, so we're looking at hamstrings stepping backwards. I guess forwards also as we're trying to actually facilitate knee flexion here, making sure we're getting over that. This one for patients with recurvatum, we're doing some weight shifts and trying to cue them on avoiding a recurvatum as they get into stance phase. So next is wall slides. You can have this in training mode where you're going isotonic repetitions as they feel the stimulation, or you can kick it into gate mode. You'll see the yellow finger icon and you hold that button whenever you want them to feel the stimulation. So this is how you can separate it through eccentric versus concentric versus isometric. Here, I'm going to hold the button as Brian's going into eccentric phase. So here we go. And then I let off the button and the patient knows to come up into concentric. And then if your patient likes to show off, you can put it back into training mode and one leg wall slides. unmatched strength in this video. Enjoy. So you all will recognize the training mode screen here. This one, when he was going into concentric versus eccentric and going repetitions, it's just here. I have that lower cuff excluded from the stimulator. If you all want to break up iso isometric versus concentric versus eccentric, you go to gate mode. You can either set the lower cuff stimulation to zero or you can hold that green square or rectangle for about three seconds until it turns white. And then you can give that manual stimulation just by holding without giving stimulation to the lower cuff.